is Louise Harder Fischer. I'm an assistant professor at Copenhagen Business School. It has been designed to be a very hands-on course, but also a course where they need to reflect upon the academic uh, discipline as uh, being an entrepreneur. My name is uh, Lars K. Andersen. Um, I'm an external lecturer here at CBS teaching in um, digital entrepreneurship. I'm uh, co-teaching with uh, Louise and um, basically introducing the um, students to the uh, more practical elements of uh, having a startup. Peaks uh, really uh, went through the roof uh, when I uh, used it the last time. We had a session where the different uh, groups were presenting um, their startups in a pitch form. And um, when they did that, we used the uh, gamification element of Peaks to uh, make the different groups uh, do investments after they have seen the pitch presentations. And that went really well because it showcased that um, uh, the, there's a, um, a strong correlation between um, how you have uh, pulled together the pitch and um, how much uh, investors are willing to invest uh, afterwards. Blendtec Learning comes from uh, primarily digital tools that we use in order to both have the students uh, be more aware of how they progress in their learning process, but also uh, how, to, how to be more transparent about their learning process. Then we used uh, the PEAKS platform uh, that is specifically designed to, uh, to drive an entrepreneurial process from ideation to completion. Platform that the students uh, could use in order to um, be more explicit about their process and then share it with their co-students. Getting the students to very quickly being able to explain what it is they are doing. And when you work in a group and, uh, and you have to decide what should we, what should we share with others, then it, it triggers um, important discussions. And that's a good way to, to initiate both group work but also thinking about the entrepreneurial process. Peaks showed to be an important platform for creating transparency uh, in both um, what the student actually um, uh, were working with as Peaks uh, asks for certain deliveries um, in a phase-like uh, process, but um, it also gave us, the teachers, a possibility to much better follow their students' work. And usually students' products and projects are very invisible to us teachers. I think PEAKS is, is for the future. Uh, it is a helpful uh, tool to get um, the students uh, to learn from each other uh, and to get um, the best possible uh, interaction between the, the groups and, and us as uh, teachers because we have uh, the full overview of uh, where they are in the process. Mm -hmm.